We track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back to KIMT News 3 at 6. As Aaron just said right before we came out, it was another warm day. And yeah. We're going to be seeing some changes, though, that we've got to prepare for. Pretty much. I mean, it's going to happen pretty quick here as we get into uh, later tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Still one more mild day. We got high temperatures forecast to be in the 50s again here tomorrow, but then it's going to change. And you can already see that change happening in the Dakotas here today. 34 in Bismarck. That was the high. Meanwhile, 55 in Sioux Falls. And that's what we have coming our way here tomorrow. Mid 50s potentially if we get some sunshine. Some areas here in Iowa where we saw Des Moines at 59 could get up into the 60s. Not quite that warm for us, but we do have 50s once again for tomorrow. Today we've been mostly into the mid to upper 40s. A couple of us got to 50 degrees, but now we're in the mid to upper 40s. 45 Rochester and Mason City. Here's a look over downtown showing at least uh, it's calling for clear skies, but there are some clouds out there. 45 now and the winds are still quite strong and will remain that way through tonight. So our actual temperature right now 45 not really going to drop much more as we go through the night only down to about 41. So it will stay mild and that gives us a head start for tomorrow. 45 in Mason City still quite windy as well, but there's the overcast skies that we are seeing and we're going to continue to see that. But there is a little bit of clearing happening to the west behind a little batch of rain. That rain's going to move in for tomorrow morning. Then we may get a little bit of sunshine here around midday tomorrow. If that happens, that's going to help to warm us up and it will also provide for some instability, something we haven't really talked about in a while, some energy that could be the fuel for a couple rumbles of thunder here by the evening. Not talk about severe weather, but there is potential for a couple stronger thunderstorms to our south and east. This area of darker green, that is a level one risk for some hail, some gustier winds. That's going to stay to our south and east, but this general, this lighter green area here, that could mean some rumbles of thunder happening here as we get into the evening hours on your Thursday. So let's look at this on Sky Tracker 3. Some rain showers making their way through tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll get a break, maybe a little bit of clearing here, here around midday, and then, yeah, there's that potential for a couple thunderstorms. So we'll have to watch for that. It's going to be very quick, and not everyone's going to see or hear any rumbles of thunder as we go through the day tomorrow. Then we're just talking about some colder weather as we look ahead to your Friday and for the weekend. Tonight, 41 scattered showers arriving, scattered showers and a few rumbles of thunder here tomorrow with 54 degrees. Your seven day forecast with well, the weekend is always in view, showing that colder weather here, highs in the 30s through the weekend, but we'll be back near 40 here next week.